Hello my friends and welcome again to another rainy morning. I thought we would be out of all that rainy rainy that we were dealing with back in, in the first series. But I perished at the end of the night. And it doesn't sound good. And I'm trying to figure out why if I just respond in my bed, I have no no food in my belly. Good thing I went out and got some food yesterday. We'll at least start our morning without starving. Ah, well, today was the day I was going to see about... Ooh, is that hail? It's starting to hail. Just just little ones. Maybe? No? I guess it's just because I was, I was moving. I got caught by a hailstorm. And I've been kind of paranoid about hail ever since. Because it, it, like, trapped me in a, in a self-dug pocket. Oh, there he is. Maybe it, oh no I got him. I'm hoping to turn him my way. I hope I didn't lose that arrow either. Oh now you're gonna run. I thought I missed that arrow. I love the bow. I do I do. And there's a reason I love the bow. And it's because the bow is not only a, a, a wonderful invention, the next step after the Adel Adel, and it really changed things for people, but on top of that, the bow teaches us a tremendous lesson. See, if you have a bow, and there's no string on it, it's just a fancy stick. Really, you can use it to knock something down off the top shelf or, you know, use it to support you as you walk. We're going to come up here where there's less rain here. But it's just a fancy stick. The, the, the bow without the, without the string lacks motivation. It has no, it, it has no motivation and therefore, I know where we'll get some quiet where I'm going to set up this fire pit, so I'll work on that while I'm talking to you. So, a bow without a string lacks motivation. And... You can take a string, you can take a bow string specifically, and by itself, I mean, it's useful. You could potentially use it for shoelaces or something, you know, tie, use it to tie things. But you try to stand it up on end and it collapses, it falls down. Because what the string lacks is discipline. So the string lacks discipline and the bow lacks motivation, but you put that string on that bow and you pull the string and the bow moves. Because it has motivation to move. And the string stays taut between the ends of the bow because it's found discipline. And that motivation and that discipline combined means that the arrow, our intent, can be put on the target as long as we use the correct judgment. That's a serious wisdom point right there. One to grow on. And that's why the bow to me is such an impressive thing. We are going to need a lot more sticks to get these pits going. I think the fire pot well I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna pull that one out and we're gonna take out the fire pot put the fire pot in there and that way we got at least three bowls and maybe we'll keep a bowl just ready to fire I don't know we'll decide 
and I do not yep I do not have enough sticks to fill the hole so it's stick hunting time Yeehaw! I've been wanting to go or visit shore. Just really get a look. I looked that way a fair bit. I'd like to get a look going this way. And as long as we got damaged, you know, uh, come up with, with sticks. Uh, really? You're going to be that guy? Where the hell are you? I had a lot of water to cross. Alright, I think I saw the arrow that time. He's come, he's right off over here, here someplace, there you, come on, you want to have an archer duel, huh, you want to have an archer duel, jackass, he's probably not alone, and I got a drifter trying to roll up on me, but I'm expecting more of them, but I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to gather food, I have been so undisciplined, about gathering food. I also think it's a good opportunity to gather hard sedge from the uh, uh, water's edge mod because that way we can get some more storage going because man do we need it. So today today is the day that I I do it like a big boy. I get all responsible. Make sure I have food. Make sure that we have materials. You know, I apologize, but that castle is just such a fun thing to have in my life. I want to work on it, and I want to make it all cool, and I want to share you with you guys, you know, by showing you guys, doing the building. And uh, I think this is... Maybe starting to look good around here. There's an oak. All right. Oak is really one of the greatest trees for gathering sticks by breaking foliage. Not to mention, we can get ourselves some vines. When you look at the bundles of the leaves, you'll either be able to see through them, all right, or you'll see black lines drawn inside them. And if there's black lines drawn inside, there's a stick. If it's transparent, there's no stick. So I'm just looking for the ones that have those black lines. I could take down the whole tree and I do need materials, but I'm limited on room. I, I can get my shield out and that helps. And I've got meat I should have cooked. Here is what we're looking for. Get something edible so that we don't start making hideous noises. Are we not picking up soft sedge? Oh. Sneaky bugger. Sneaky bugger. Oh, I should have replanted you. I'm sorry. Give me a moment here and... We'll see if we can do something about that. I'd love to take you home and put you in my courtyard, but... Don't have the room. Because, well, you know what? Just had a thought. I think I'll get shot by an arrow. You son of a... Ooh, boy, when your mom finds out about this. Alright. the My sense of things is that he's over there. Starting to get a feel for these jackasses. How bad are we hit? Not bad. Let's see if we can get a little food in this here. Oh, you are. So I'm going to swing this way. Where has he moved to? Yeah, see, now I'm starting to have hunger effects. i got to get to cover and I've got to eat. He's a good bandit. He knew exactly when to hit me.
Yeah, I figured there was more than one of them. See if we can get some darn food in us. He may have real food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is this is one of the the bandits that usually has several vegetables on him. We'll get this eaten, pick up a vegetable. Just sit still. See, make sure nothing else. Yep, see, because there's an onion. I'm going to drop these two cobblestone. Come on. Get gone. Normally, there's at least one more vegetable on him. Things got hairy. I'm, I wasn't able to keep track of my arrows. I'm just going to drop under the water, make sure there's none sticking anywhere over here. All right. I'm going to hold on to the gold, gold and silver for now, but they don't mean that much to me at the moment. Not sure I'll be able to locate the other one I put down. But that's a value. But man. So I, see now, it's like it's the instant when I have the idea. The instant I have the idea. So what I had just thought of when the first one attacked was I should make a basket put stuff in it and stick it on my back. Hey, good good answer. And the second time I was about to put that, that string away and went, oh yeah, I was going to do the basket because I saw the materials for it. I get shot again. And we're in rough shape now with a fair run back here if something goes wrong. All right, I'm right there. All right, just, just so I've got my orientation. All right, you... I could run for it, or I could kick your butt. Ha, got it. I knew there had to be another vegetable there. Where is this guy? I think a combination of the two. I'm going to see if I can get clear, get to another area to gather food and stuff. But if he gives me any trouble, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort him out. Ooh, I almost walked right through nettles. All right, hopefully <laughs> this time. There we go. We'll put that down. Let's get a little cover at least. That way I can take all these tasty veggies and the gold and silver, which are things that we really aren't going to use while we're out here, and the meat. A uh, couple extra cattails I ended up picking up, the fibers. Yeah, there we go. In fact, I'll turn those into rope because that's their destiny anyway. And who am I didn't to deny destiny? I'll stick that one to the ground. All right, so here we go. Um, I need to get both of my hands empty. And then I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to hold the right, right mouse. That'll allow me to pick this up in my hands, and I can carry it around. If I look someplace where it can't be set down on a block and hold shift and right click, it swaps that onto my back. And now if we look, there it is on my back feeling pretty spiffy about things so by the way it's f5 once to look at the third person view of yourself from the back like you would in some games f5 again allows you a 360 degree orbital camera so you can take a look at yourself and admire how awesome 
you are. So, um, let's see. Stop getting distracted, old man. Now we can gather food. We can maybe gather some some wood. Maybe more materials. Because that's the cool thing about baskets. Even though you can put them on your back, you can put them in your inventory. So we can carry materials for more baskets. I want to stock up on this stuff because I've been very lax about it. I get too excited. The castle calls and I just, I can't re resist it. It's almost as bad as my problem with kittens. There's this YouTube channel called, I think it's called the Dodo. And it's like cat and kitten and puppies and dogs be rescues, you know. Taking in strays and getting them healthy and adopted into good homes and all that shit. And, and man, it just... It just slays me. This was a hella nice patch. I'm glad I'm cutting this with the knife so that they grow back. And then I'm also going to mark it on the map because just what I'm getting from this one point is enough food and enough materials, you know, to really make a difference. So it's well worth knowing it's here and being able to take advantage of it but the big thing is cut it with your knife because if you don't it won't grow back and it'll still be here in winter when things get hard if we're not set up and and safe and ready for winter this will make a heck of a difference Now, if I want to take the thing off my back, again, I just look down at a place where, where I can place a block, hold, shift, and right-click. It'll bring it to my hands, and then I can hold, shift, and right mouse again, and it puts it down on the ground. I can get in there, get, get the extra stuff out of my inventory. Where are you? These guys here. That's... Thule? Oh, I didn't me mean to pick up Thule. Uh, not enough for a rope. Enough for cordage, but not for a rope. We'll have to toss those. Um, it's the same thing with the cattails. I really don't have a reason to have cattails. I will hold on to the hard sedge because I'm liable to pick up more of that. Um, but we'll just get rid of this other... If I right-click on the basket, the basket closes. Got to make sure I have nothing in my hands. Shift, right mouse. Pick it up. Look at the sky. Shift, right mouse. It's on my back. Copy girl, you are my hero. Saving my bacon many times because of this mod. All right, so um, let's just check that. And we'll check this. And we'll eat. Alley Cat will be so impressed right now. We've only made the horrible sound only once. but And that's because we were under attack by bandits. Shout out to Alley Cat. I know I'm a, I'm, I'm a tiny channel. And, you know... Like, you guys that I know watch every day because you always comment and stuff. You just, you make my universe. You really do. I get on every day just just so I can, I can check and see if anybody's had anything to say. And I try to answer back as much as I can to let you know that I do see what you say and... Uh, you know, rejoin your tribe. Right. Oh, no. Sorry. Your neighbor had to die so you could rejoin your tribe. Well, he had to get a haircut so he could rejoin his tribe. Let's take a look here. 
we came up right through here. We did, we did, so we're familiar with that. I don't know if that is just a big old patch of, I don't know, like poison oak or something. It's just really red there. I wanted to, I figured I got down this far. Might as well take a look and see if there's anything that really stands out. We may have some ruins right there. Do I really feel like a night out? If I do it, I get a whooping. I do it. I get pink, that way I can't miss it. Oh, it didn't. Yikes. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the star. I think that's better. I closed it up there instead of hitting save. There we go. It's now on my mini map, and we're gonna head for it. Most well, hello, sir or ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Just that beard it confused me a little. Miner's lettuce. Your good friend. In fact, I think we may have taken advantage of... Well, no, I don't think so. Okay, never mind. I was going, I think we've been to this patch before, but... You know. No offense to your species, but y'all look the same to me. And we got 1806. It's good. Take the time. Make sure we got food for the next round of things. We'll find a spot. If we get to the ruins, we might do something about things, but um, right now, due to previous life lessons, I've decided it is much more important for me to grab this food than to rush for the ruins. The ruins will still be there in the morning. Yes, I'm learning my lesson. With the mod combinations that I have in here, I can't play as recklessly as I can in vanilla. And I've certainly played lots of modded, but at, at different times I've played with different modded setups because of what mods have been available. And so... Ooh, that in the water. Uh, piggy. Alright. More piggy. Oh, piggy. I would shoot you in your piggy face, but right now that's not my priority. If I can get by on the weeds, you don't have to die tonight. Oh, hey, yep, more sticks. We got a ways to go. What do we got? 1849. We're going to keep going a little longer. Don't have a shovel on me, don't believe but this is it takes us into some area we haven't been into and I of course always got my exploration Jones we've learned that there is absolutely bonker amounts of miners lettuce so when we're ready to establish our garden we can when we start our no-till garden I think this is as good a place as any I'm going to have to get rid of the claystone in the morning. But one thing about it, spending the night inside rock, it, nice and safe. What's going on here? Huh. Where is my torch? Is it in my my basket? 
Oops, I gotta get this out of my hand. Wow, I didn't make a torch. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to be sleeping dark tonight, and that's okay. As long as I can get the bed down and get into it. That's why I made the holes. It'd be a darker point than... It's a darker point if you got to put down a bed in the dark. And there we go. I'm going to put this back on my back. Didn't, didn't sound like it went on my back. All right, I'm sleeping and I'll be back either when morning comes or all hell breaks loose. Why are you not letting me sleep? bed is down. Okay, this has gotten interesting. <laughs>